Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, we're going to take a look at example 19 in process monitoring. So this is again application specific with respect to PLC and we are first going to understand the requirements of this problem and then we will be drawing the ladder diagram. At the first place, you would have observed in food and packaging industries where a package would be sent to a small kind of a box or a system that actually does the packaging within it, isn't it? So this is where this application holds good and what we are really interested in this particular question is that we want to know the number of packages that are located inside the material processing system. Why is it so? Because the material processing system usually will be enclosed and we will not be able to see what is going inside it. So if number of packages are going inside the material processing system, we are really concerned about the total number of packages that are there in the material processing system. So that in case if any of the package is stuck or uh, if the number of packages more than what it is supposed to be inside, we will get to know a clear picture as there is some process that is not going at the right direction and we need to stop the entire operation immediately. So we will be having two sensors. Once a package enters, sensor one will detect that the package is entered. And once the package exits, the sensor two will actually indicate that the package or it will actually uh, determine that the package has gone out. So basically we want to know the number of packages that are there in the material processing system. And how do we achieve this? So this will be achieved with the help of up counter and down counter. And it sounds interesting, isn't it? When we study a lot of things theoretically and when we see the practical application of it, uh, it sounds really interesting. And uh, after looking at this example, you will really be uh, amazed as how up counter and down counter can be used in this particular application. So the package moves inside the material processing system in this particular fashion. Package two also goes into the material processing system in this particular fashion. One of the package comes out in this particular fashion. So the total number of remaining packages in this case will be one, isn't it? So one package is still inside, whereas one package that entered came out. So the total number of package in this particular scenario is one, isn't it? So how do we write the program? So how do we draw the ladder diagram for this type of questions? So the ladder diagram is as follows. First and foremost important thing that you have to observe looking at the ladder diagram is I've used the same address for up counter and down counter. That means the preset and accumulated value should also be the same. And there is a reason specific to this why I am using the same address. So I'll tell you while explaining this concept. So initially when a package enters, so these are basically normally open contacts. So these are associated with sensors. Sensor one that we saw is over here and sensor two is with respect to this contact. So whenever a package enters that particular uh, sensor gets activated the contact gets energized in this particular fashion the run gets energized up counter gets energized and correspondingly what happens the counter enable bit actually gets energized in this particular fashion instantly so total package is basically given by the accumulated value isn't it because the accumulated value keeps counting the total number of packages that are there inside the box so now in this case one package has actually gone in so we have one at some point in time, once the package leaves, the sensor gets deactivated and becomes red in this particular fashion. And now let me assume another package is entering. So the contact again gets energized, the run gets energized, and the up counter again gets energized. The counter enable bit again goes to high state according to the working of up counter, isn't it? So consequently, what happens? The total number of packages now in the um, material processing system will be equal to two. So up till this point, I hope the concept is clear. Now carefully observe, what I will be doing is, now let us consider uh, the package that has entered previously out of two, one of them comes out. So in that case, sensor two will be activated, basically the outgoing package. So consequently, the rung corresponding to it will get energized, the down counter will get energized, and the down counter enable bit will go to high state in this particular fashion. As a result, what happens? The packages or basically the accumulated value, which was two previously will be decremented by one because I'm using a down counter. Previously, it incremented the value. The up counter was actually counting the values in the positive uh, direction, basically the forward uh, incrementing fashion, whereas the down counter decrements. It was two, now it becomes equal to one. So it has decremented its value in this particular fashion. So the total number of packages now is equal to one, which is basically the accumulated value. So 
now we are able to identify isn't it so again this goes to red and again if a sensor or if if uh, the sensor is activated based on the package coming out then again it will be decremented by one so it will become equal to zero total packages will be equal to zero the process repeats so basically we will be able to get the total number of packages in the material processing system and that is how this type of problem is very very helpful I hope you were able to understand this concept of in-processing system uh, used in PLC programming. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Please do keep supporting. Thank you.